Hello everyone, my name is Megamokies. Uh, I'm back here with another Cinema 4D tutorial. This one is requested by the Mighty Thor. Uh, he wrote a comment on one of my videos uh, requesting a tutorial on how to uh, split uh, an object into multiple objects in Cinema 4D. Uh, in his case, he downloaded this helicopter stock model from uh, tf3dm.com. Um, and some parts of the model were not grouped correctly, uh, so I'm going to try and show him how to fix that. Um, and hopefully you uh, will be able to learn from it as well. Alright, so here is the 3D model as it comes, and as you'll be able to see, some of the grouping is a little strange. Um, so for example, we might want to have the blades spinning because that's what they do, it's a helicopter. Um, but right now you wouldn't be able to animate it spinning because the doors uh, and these rear blades are part of the same object. So that makes it uh, a little bit tricky. So what I'm going to do is go to my right view. Uh, you can go to cameras uh, right. I also use the hotkey. F3, um, and so I'm going to grab a rectangular selection, make sure you're in polygon selection mode over here on the right, left, sorry, and I'm going to turn off only select visible elements so I can just really easily go over, make sure you don't select any other polygons. Uh, so we have that as a selection, uh, and I will right click on this and go to split. They'll make another object, and before we click off of this object, I'm going to hit delete just so we don't have a copy. Uh, so now the uh, the blades are their own object. So I'm just going to rename these so I don't forget. Uh, just call these blades. Um, and so now another important thing: uh, F2 for top view is just to um, set the axis so that when we do animate them spinning they will be on the correct axis because right now if we did you can see it doesn't spin in a proper circle uh, so I'll go to the axis mode L is the uh, hotkey for that and just move this to the center we'll go out of uh, axis mode rotate and now you can see that it spins on its proper axis. Um, okay, so I won't go through the same thing for all of these, for all of the doors, because it is the same principle. Just make sure to select only the polygons you want. Um, but there was also an issue on this chassis object. Um, the windows aren't included, so we're going to do the opposite. We're going to combine uh, the glass and the chassis object, but only for for the part that's connected to the chassis, not the doors. We would do take a similar process for the doors. Um, so we let's use the lasso selection tool. This time I will turn on only select visible elements uh, and just quickly go over. Uh, that did not work like I wanted it to. Um, just like this. Interesting. Okay, I guess I will turn off only select visible elements because there are some normal uh, adjustments and then just remove everything I don't want later. And I'm holding down the shift key to add to my selection here. Whoops, don't want to do that. Um, so that we don't have to make multiple selections. Okay. Uh, we have that. And now I'm just going to make sure I don't have any polygons selected that I don't want to. It doesn't look like I do. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is um, split these off from the existing glass object. So what we did before, you can right click, go to split, you can also go to mesh commands split and the shortcut for that is up uh, so i'll just hit delete to get rid of the duplicates 
I did not do that correctly. Um, so, okay, there we go. Uh, let me just check. Okay. Um, so it looks like I want to delete this. There we go. Um, so here's our new glass. So just drag it up by the chassis. Uh, click them both. You can shift click. And then right click on those. Connect objects and delete. Um, and that will combine these all into one object. Uh, so that's the chassis and the glass on one. So what I would do next is uh, do the same thing for the individual doors and then remember to make sure to align the axis so you can animate them opening so you do that on the hinge um, we'll do the same thing for these rear blades uh, and I think that oh one more thing I will just put these all in a group just select them all hit alt G uh, so that way I can move them all at once easily um, because otherwise you it would be a lot uh, trickier um, and then I can just animate the blades um, like this animate that just hitting control click on that keyframe to animate and so now we have a separate animation that's very quick. Um, and so yeah, I hope that that um, solves your question, Mighty Thor. Uh, again, this model is from tf3dm.com. I did not make it, so I don't want to take credit. Uh, so yeah, I hope that that has helped you. Uh, thanks for watching.